am reporter Eliana Rudy for JNS here in the Machane Yehuda Market in Jerusalem. And I'm here asking people on the street what they think about the upcoming second round of elections in Israel. Do you have anything else to add? I think that's, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do you have anything else to add about the upcoming elections? Uh, no, actually I don't. Okay. Thank you so much. Do you have anything else to add? Not really, just I hope that uh, some final decision is made on the election and that something positive will come out of it and there will be a government formed without the necessity for a third election, which I don't believe th th there will be. Thank you so much. Any other thoughts that you have on the election? No, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Do you have anything else that you want to add about the election? What else do you want to know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm a better answerer than a, than a speaker. You did great. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to add? No, but thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add about the elections? Yes, I think that Otsma Yehudi should get into the Knesset, and that's what's going to make things go much more right-wing. And I want to vote for them, if Bichlal, and if I don't vote for them, and if they don't get into the Memshala, all these elections are not worth anything, because not anybody won't be really right-wing without them. And I think they should have much more mandatim and be in there and do the right things for the right people who need to, Be'ezrat Hashem, be in the Knesset and, uh, and they will be able to do good for all the Israelis and the Jew and bring Be'ezrat Hashem, the Geula. Not that they're Elohim, no, Baruch, but I think that things uh, will become much better when people like Itamar Ben Gvir and Baruch Marzel that uh, care so much, and Gopstein, that care so much for the Israeli women that are in Arab hands and all over and will fight for the Israeli needs that really need to be done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the elections or what you hope for? Um, yeah, well, like the, the ideal scenario will be that the coalition, like the main parties in, uh, in the opposition, sorry, the main parties in the opposition will will embrace the Arab uh, parties because this is the only way they will manage to form a coalition without the Arab party. And Ayman Uda said that he will uh, he will join a coalition without uh, Netanyahu, a left-wing coalition. So if they will embrace the Arab parties, so this is the only way that they can form a coalition. If not, so it will be another uh, government, like right-wing government. Maybe, a, how do you call it, like a center? But Bibi will still be prime minister, so it's just, a, you know, like a, a, like when he, there was a government of Bibi Netanyahu and together with uh, Yair Lapid, with Yesh Atid, and it's just like an ornament, you know? You have like a, Yair Lapid, yeah, he's secular, he's kind of leftish, you know, so we can justify like whatever we're doing. It's just like a or ornament, yeah. So th it will be the same. Yeah. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you so much. Was there anything else you'd like to add about the election? No. No. <laughs> okay, thank you.